It was the first week of December 2006 when my husband, my soulmate, the love of my life, and I received his diagnosis in the oncologist office. Incurable, inoperable cancer. Two months later, he died in my arms. In the first part, we're going to talk about some shocking statistics related to widowhood, and then also the grief and how that can affect a widow. In the second section, we'll deal with some of the financial issues, some steps for new widows and what I call the ABCs for widows. And then in the latter part, I'll give a few tips for you if you have a friend or a relative who was widowed and how you might be helpful. But then when you get to those of us I like to refer as seasoned seniors, <laughs> if you know what I mean, um, on average, what percent of widows aged 55 to 64 remarry? What's a guess? 40? Lower. 10. Lower than 10. 8. 8 percent remarry. And then, widows experience a lot of different emotions after the death of their spouse. Identity. Who am I now that I'm not Mrs. Jim Jones? Emotionally distraught. This is the hardest thing I have ever gone through. And all these emotions are very, very normal. I see some of you shaking your heads. And this is not just Eileen, this is my aunt Eileen. Now you also have to know, Eileen is in her 80s now, but the story that I'm going to tell you about, she said, please share it with other women because I don't want them to be as dumb as I was with this mistake. And um, I said, I would love to share this picture. And I got my camera out. I was going to take a picture of her. And she said, well, could we get a better one? So this is Aunt Eileen when she was 59. We went into the <laughs> scrapbook and got her picture. Get real. It doesn't mean get Kathleen real. You can't get me. But it means get real with an understanding of what you have, looking at your cash flow. What are the sources of money coming in? What are the bills that go out? The book that's on your table, there's tips about organizing, about working with the attorney, with the tax preparer, settling the estate, filing for benefits. ABCs for widow. And this is where you get to fill in the blanks if you want to on the worksheets. A, always ask questions. B, buyer, beware. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. C, that stands for care for yourself with some inexpensive things. If you are blessed that you are in a situation where you still are married, talk about these things ahead of time. Where are the passwords and the pins for our accounts? Are the beneficiaries named correctly on the retirement plan? Have the wills been updated? I was able to find my new purpose and my new passion in life, which is basically part of what I'm doing with you today to help my widowed sisters. And I'm very grateful for this opportunity to chat with you today, to share a few stories, a few ideas, and just know that, yes, if you are a widow, you have loved. Yes, you have lost that lifestyle, that life before, but you can move forward on your own. Thank you, thank you all.